Yes, I'm Ashwin. I'm the co-founder of Navisys. Uh, we are re reinventing accuracy for GPS systems. Uh, so uh, we are currently working with the Indian Space Research Organization to bring the highest possible accuracy to phones and UAVs on the planet right now. Uh, uh, lower accuracy currently leads to your Uber showing up on the other side of the road, no drone deliveries, navigation error, blind spots, even Teslas have problems with lower accuracy right now. So uh, the market opportunity is high, and the most growth will happen in Asia in future, because uh, self-driven vehicles haven't invaded the market yet. Uh, so uh, the solution for uh, such high accuracy has to be lane-level accuracy, and not uh, the whole uh, street-level accuracy. So current uh, GPS systems give you accuracy of about five meters, and uh, I'll show you how uh, our GPS system is currently working. Uh, uh, this is a business model we are targeting these three industries. And uh, currently, the accuracy that you get on your phone, if you open up your maps, you can see it. Uh, GPS gives you about 10 meters. GLONASS, Beidou give you about 10, uh, about 10 meters to 7 meters. Uh, we, are we are testing right now with ISRO, which is under 1 meters. And I'll explain how it works. I'd like to draw your attention to tests that are being conducted by ISRO. Uh, uh, this is a product. It is a hardware and application that will work. And if you look at the left, that is GPS alone that is tracking a vehicle, moving vehicle. And on the right, you see uh, the hybrid GPS plus IR and NSS combination. That is the Indian satellite constellation that was completed in April 2018. And on the right, this test was performed on an ISRO facility. So you see GPS misses on the left, but uh, we are able to track the vehicle very well uh, on the right. Uh, so uh, currently, we are in the MVP stage. We are testing right now, and we are seeing accuracy under one meters. And we'd like to. Uh, get some introductions with OEM manufacturers, UAE manufacturers, semiconductor manufacturers, and $1 million in fiat currency so that we can, we can build our prototype. Thank you. And I'm open for questions. Thank you so much. Please. Are you connected with TRIAD here locally? Uh, not yet, no. Are you, um, are you thinking that your customer is Waze or Google Maps? The same company. <laughs> yeah. But um, aren't you then kind of at their mercy when uh, you do this? Is there some way you can get through to the end user? Uh, they are kind of at our mercy, actually. If you look at it, if you have to build something like this, you would need a country support, need, need a space company, and $313 million. That, that is how much this project costs. So the technology is already there. We are just commercializing it. So unless you plan on la launching your own GPS systems, which is way expensive, and, and there are geopolitical issues in this segment. So uh, Google has to adopt to uh, current technologies. And this, uh, this particular seg this, uh, pr platform covers uh, most of Asia, uh, bits of Australia, and we are expanding to Europe and Russia very soon. Uh, yeah, historically, that, that is not the way it's gone. Yeah. Because new technologies come along, and then they just dump you. They move on to the next. I, uh, so uh, uh, technologies that, that currently are deployed, you're using RTK or, or other parameters or, or platforms, they are local. Uh, they are pretty much local. They do not cover countries at, at length. So if, if this currently can uh, essentially help about 3 billion people, this covers 3 billion people and expanding to Russia and, and Euro, uh, the EU region. So it's, expa it's evolution of GPS chips that, that, is, that are currently used in the market. Great. Awesome. Thank you so much.